Counter Punch Boxing. What's going on, YouTube? We got Canelo doing the chicken dance, Chavez cheering him on, and Oscar De La Hoya quite entertained by the whole situation. I'm joking. This is just one of those pitchers caught at the wrong time. That's actually Canelo getting in a fighting stance, showing the crowd he is the dominant male. But anyway, enough of that. So look, last night, I covered the premier boxing champions uh, fight. It was on Fox Sports 1. Yeah, it's cool. You know, I went there, uh, had hung out with uh, the Charlo twins. That was probably the coolest part of the night. Lou Savarese, you know, he's a dude that fought Mike Tyson. Uh, he was a promoter. I got my press creds through him because I train at his boxing gym. So it kind of worked out. Lou is the promoter. So now I have like this endless access to all these fights. So that's great. And uh, Lou has a lot of really good fighters, and they're, they're, they're coming through the ranks, and a couple of them are about to be in line for a title fight. So, you know, it's a unique end for me. It's kind of, and look, it's good to get, or to build a relationship with a promoter, you know, early on when he's developing guys. And right now, he has a huge stable of fighters. I mean, you, you should really look into it. But anyway, so I wanted to give you guys kind of a, a, a and what do you call it, all-access look at Premier Boxing Champions, kind of a backstage pass, because, you know, I went, and I post, I'm actually, a video's posting right now, but that's just kind of a, I don't know, a video I threw up uh, in, in, on the, not in the group, on the channel, just so you guys can check it out. But what I, what I wanted to let you guys know is I will be covering the Canelo Chavez press tour tomorrow, so they're going to make a stop here in Houston, and I'm going to go there just, you know, I'll get some, some video for you guys, and um, actually, I'm going to record the whole entire thing, you know what I mean, but I don't know if I'll put that up in the group, or I keep saying the group, the channel, but uh, yeah, so I will I will have some video, and maybe I can get an interview, I don't know, because look, these events, these Canelo Chavez events, I mean, they're crazy, they're like madness, I've been to them, I've been to Canelo's, not Chavez, I've been to Canelo's, and they're insane, I mean, you just get mobbed by people, so even if you're press, it's hard, I mean, it's really hard to, to, you know, get an interview or talk to these guys, So, but I'll try, but at a bare minimum, I will have the video footage and I'll put it up in the group immediately after. Now, the, the, the door is open at noon. I'll get there a little early. I'll enter as press and, but like I said, even if, even if you have, even if you're press, it doesn't matter at these kind of things because they're wild and people are just like mobbing these guys. So it, it's kind of scary that, that, you know, the, the human mentality. Like, I mean, I was like, you know, people literally like fight to get to Canelo. I've seen it. People like push, they shove, they pull hair. It's insane. But I will be there covering it none the less. And like I said, I had, um, so that's what I just kind of want to let the channel know that, you know, look out for that tomorrow. And today is uh, February 22nd. So this will be February 23rd, tomorrow at noon, my time. I don't know where you're at on the planet, but noon, my time, Houston, Texas. You know, Google it, figure it out if you want to watch it. But um, so, yeah, and, and like I said, I, I, I want to put together like a miniature documentary of Premier Boxing Champions because I had an inside, just, just this unique look that really the public eye doesn't see. I mean, I was backstage. I was rubbing shoulders with the suits and the ties. I mean, all the guys that we talk about and all the things that we claim that we know, we really didn't know. And some of the things, we, you know, we're right. You know, what I mean is we debate about Al Heyman and Premier Boxing Champions all the time. Is he good? Is he bad? You know, what's it really like at, at a fight? And, and, I, and to be honest with you, I've never been to a Premier Boxing Champions fight. And I'm not talking about from the audience. I'm talking about from a press point of view. And like I said, I had an all-access pass. I mean, I, I went ringside, you know, you can even go watch uh, Fox Sports 1 and you'll see me. I have a black collared shirt on uh, with a headset on and a microphone. I'm standing right there by the ring on Fox. Like, you can go back and watch and you'll see me standing right there, uh, you know, recording. So, but anyway, I like I said, I... Uh, you know, I, I got to go backstage and, and 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 talk to different people, and I got a lot of questions answered. So I will I will you know put together a little you know I don't know documentary video whatever you want to call it of that experience and may you know if you're interested. So, uh, but another thing to end the video I wanted to, to point out: look at the size difference. I mean, I keep talking about it, but my God, I mean, child, he's so much bigger. Look at this. 
Chavez on your right, Cantello on your left, Oscar De La Hoya, happy he's making money in the middle. You know, I mean, a huge, and, and this was actually taken from the press conference in Mexico City. Uh, so if you go over to Counterpunch Boxing Talk uh, Facebook, we've got the, the full video there. Or you can go to Golden Boy Promotion and watch it there. So now, in other news, apparently these two guys, not apparently, it, it went down. These two guys, they were on a TV show, and they bet their purse. I mean, they shook hands and said, you know, whoever loses, you know, they're going to give up their purse to the other guy. Now, I've seen that done in boxing before, and then the other guy doesn't pay up. I mean, uh, even when, uh, I, think, I believe it was Kovalev and Pascal, and remember Pascal betted, like, I don't know, it was like 100 grand that he'd win, and he lost, and now Kovalev says, you know, you never paid me. You know, so a lot of times these guys do that, and they really don't mean it, but... Uh, wouldn't that be interesting if Chavez won, would Canelo fork up that money? You know, would he fork over that money? You know, I don't know. I don't think he would. So, but anyway, guys, so yeah, I just want to give you a quick update there. You know, like I said, I, I'm posting, I mean, I've, I've probably have like, I don't know, man, like seven hours worth of footage for the premier boxing champions. And then tomorrow I'll bring you guys a little bit of footage from the Canelo Chavez press event. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're kind of boring, honestly. You know, I'll do maybe the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, the face-off, you know, when they stand there. Just, again, because I want to see the, the, the size difference in person. And this is really going to help me make a prediction video if I can actually see these two guys in person and look at their size, look at their demeanor. You know, because here's the thing. When you're watching these videos, and let me end on this. Just don't don't click off yet. This is really important. When we watch videos and when we read articles, that's one thing. But when you're there live, when you're with these guys, I mean, you can see these little, like, slight mannerisms. And, you you know, you can see, like, uh, the demeanor, you know, the little twitch in their eye. I mean, you see all these little things that you don't pick up on watching these quick little videos, you know. So that's why I like, you know, I like, the, I mean, anytime I make a prediction, like, my dream scenario would be that, you know, I could actually spend a little time around both guys. So I think after I do that, I'm going to be able to make a very accurate prediction. Anyway, guys, counterpunch boxing. We are out.